So crypto, let's really start by our crypto review first. Total three. So for those who don't know the total three, right, in crypto, it's a really good gauge to, it's the total market cap of the crypto industry, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's really, 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 really interesting. So if you look here at total three, we have a little bit of a retracement, but it's not, I don't know if it's completed. I don't know. I'm thinking it would be awesome if the outcomes could go a little bit more down, down on this structure here, reach the middle part of 2021 middle. See, this double top middle part is always very important. Drop a little bit more between now and the halving of Bitcoin. We are 479 billion. I want us to drop around the 385 billion on total three. And then I think we would have a fantastic buying opportunity on Alcon, and then they are going to explode at eight or 900 billion. So be careful because I think there is a little bit more to go on the downside on some of those Alcons. That being said, you know, I'm starting to look at the strength of Ethereum on Bitcoin. So you are looking at ETH BTC dominance for the state of the union on crypto here. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the state of the crypto will do those. And then I will do some altcoins if we have time because it's 9.15. So on Ethereum, Bitcoin dominance, you see slowly but surely people start buying on blue, buy on blue. The dominance still have a structure like this that we have not broken, but it looks to me that we are making a little bit of a shoulder here, a head here, and we are going to work a right shoulder before we broke the dominance. And in ca that case, Ethereum will lead versus Bitcoin. It's not proven yet. They have not broken the structure but I think we are very close to a break of the structure on the Ethereum dominance. Also, if you have listened to my past uh, Wealth Wednesday sessions live, guys, with the power of probability indicators, uh, it looks to me that the risk ratio on Ethereum has, has become really interesting. Like the downside two, three hundred dollars to the upside two, three thousand dollars becomes really a ten to one risk ratio trade, and um, I really think that it would be very, very, very helpful, guys, if you look at it and 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 um, and and you will notice that it's 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 very helpful, you know. So look, for instance, right now, if I go Ethereum, just alone, not the dominance, but just the chart, I am like at a sixty-nine percent chance of of, of selling. But looks what look what happens though. Look look at our power trend box, which shows us the pressure from the institutions on net buyer, net seller, buyer, 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 and buyer trend uptrend on the short term, uptrend on the long term. That confirms to me that we are working this right shoulder. We might go a little bit more down. You know, you could put a structure, uh, a trend line. We might we might retrace maybe one more time, you know. But I don't know. I don't think we'll get this 1800. I mean, if you do, it's a Christmas gift. But I think we it is possible you retrace towards the 2025, 1900. One last time. Before they even think about a Neuterium ETH, uh, for May, if you can get that, it's beautiful. But look what happened. Even if you are long Ethereum now, your downside is roughly 350 to 450. But your upside, guys, is going to be towards the 4500. So you risk 350, 450 to make 2200. That's a five to six to one risk ratio on Ethereum. It's very, very powerful, everybody. Very, very powerful, right? 
So I want you to be uh, aware of that because, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be uh, very, 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 very powerful. And I think it's one of the easiest, less risky trade. Plus the quantity here are small. Let's say you have $10,000, you only have 4 Ethereum to 3 Ethereum. So if it goes down 400, 300, you only lose 1,200. But you have confidence in the calculator and everything that we will be towards the 3,000, uh, 5,000 on Ethereum. So it's very powerful, really. You know, the, your risk ratio on Ethereum is very powerful. Now, let's look at Bitcoin. I think we'll have a stronger Ethereum dominance going forward. And I think we need to be very careful of that shoulder on Ethereum at 45,000, on Bitcoin, sorry, at 45,000. 45, head, 45, edge. So above 45, we fly. We go make that double top at 53, you know, $53,000 will make the double top for the year, right? I This is the target that I have, 53,400 to be exact on Bitcoin. But it would be nice if we could retest some of the structure line around this division of third, around the 37A. So very simple, 45K is going to be a very important shoulder and a division, you see, we have a division from the right calculator at 45.9 to be exact. So 45.9, let's be exact. So 45,900, if that fails, the shoulder brings us towards the 37.9 uh, trend line, higher low, higher low, higher low, then double top. And the double top, whether we pass by 37.9 or the 45 break, is going to be somewhere around this 43, 53, 500 will be the double top, new high for the year on Bitcoin. You can play Bitcoin or you can play some of the a Bitcoin ETF like ARK B, which is the ARK ETF. You can play the FBTC, which is the one from Fidelity, and you can play the one from uh, BlackRock if you want as well. Okay, up to you. I don't care. I'm just uh, the bearer of the news. So this was the crypto review for the market.